Good morning, everyone, or good day, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome to Feeling and Finding You. I am Tracy Koba. I am an instructor and ambassador for Best Life Creation Society, and I'm a, a holistic wellness coach and Reiki master. Um, I realized yesterday I probably never introduced myself and I know there's people <laughs> that don't know me that come on so that's who I am um, I've been working in the holistic field and energy worker for over a decade um, and I love helping people find their peace and joy so um, Anyway, today we are going to read a little piece out of the book, Ask and It Is Given, by Esther and Jerry Hicks. Um, it's so such a good, good book. Uh, and I know I say all their books are good, but they really, really are, uh, especially if you are excited and love to learn about the law of attraction. And um, I am one of those people, have studied it for many years, and... Um, it's so awesome to be in that energy of knowing that your thoughts create what you're, what you're living. Um, your thoughts are what makes what's coming next. So, um, thinking about that and learning about that and knowing that is really important to create the life that you want to have. And it, it's just so awesome to be in the energy of that and know the laws of the universe and to help them work for you. So I will read this little piece and then we're gonna do some freedom release method. It's an amazing method to help you line up with the beliefs that you want to have. Okay, so this part is called, it is not about controlling thoughts, it's about guiding thoughts. So we're gonna talk a lot about guiding our thoughts today. In your highly technology evolved society, where you have immediate access to almost everything that is happening around your planet, you are bombarded with thoughts and ideas that at times feel invasive to your personal experience. And so the idea of controlling your thoughts when there are so many other thoughts coming forth seems impossible, right? Um, that, that is a good, good piece and a good statement. I know I have a kind of a monkey mind, so I have thoughts coming all the time, all the time. Um, multiple thoughts running through my mind all the time and ideas and things and, and sometimes it gets noisy. So um, one thing that helps that is meditation. It helps quiet that mind, quiet that monkey mind, um, and allows the good thoughts to come in, allows it your mind to slow down a bit so you can catch the thoughts that are coming through and, and the, and, um, following your emotions and, um, you know, sifting and sorting a bit easier. So, and so the idea of controlling your thoughts when there are so many other thoughts coming forth seems impossible. It seems instead rather normal to just give your attention to whatever is in front of you. We are not encouraging you to make an effort to control your thoughts, but instead to make an effort to more or less guide your thoughts. And it is not even so much about guiding your thoughts as it is about reaching for a feeling because reaching for the way you would like to feel is an easier way to hold your thoughts in vibrational alignment with that which you believe is good. So that's a mouthful. And um, if you slow down and just listen, and maybe listen to this recording again, it will sink in a bit easier. It'll become more clear because I know that's a huge, that paragraph alone is, is huge. And maybe we'll read 
that paragraph again after we're done doing freedom release and it'll it'll make more sense to you probably good morning tinica good morning jen okay so the law of attraction is already made magnetically attracting and organizing your thoughts so having an understanding of and deliberately working with the law of attraction is extremely helpful in an effort to guiding your own thoughts remember whenever you give your attention to a thought that thought immediately becomes activated within you so the law of attraction immediately responds which means that other thoughts in vibrational harmony with the thought that you have just activated now join your activated thought making it a more pronounced more powerful and more attractive thought and as you continue your focus and as your thought expands that more powerful thought that you have just activated is joined by others like it and on it goes so it's just meaning that as you activate good thoughts and activate those thoughts of feeling good doing what you want to be doing or um you know actively in your life thinking about it, kind of pre-paving as you go instead of just floundering all over the place if you pre-pave say okay I'm driving to work and I I'm gonna have a joyful drive everyone is driving um, in their alignment and I'm going to get my to to my destination safely and you know just pre pre paving generally rather than so specific is is the best way to do it um, it's just because we don't know what other good things the universe has in store for us. So we don't want to be too specific on some things. Um, so uh, that's a different conversation that we will have on another day because there's so many different things that you can um, sift and sort through about the law of attraction. So let's do some freedom release method now to help um help us know that this isn't complicated it's very very easy and just allowing the beliefs that we might have um from you know growing up hearing something as a kid that sticks in your mind and and you think it's truth but it's not truth for you anymore and maybe it never was but you didn't know how to release that so um the freedom release method is an easy way to help um, release any resistance to the things that you want to have, the beliefs that you want to have. So it's just a simple breathing method. If you haven't done this before, all you have to do is breathe in, hold your breath. I'll say a statement and you think it in your own words as I say it. And then you just release it blow it out um, and making an effort to blow it out really tells your being your and your mind that monkey mind that's always working for you um, it helps that know that there's a different belief that you want to have that you're more lined up with and that you want to be more lined up with so um, a lot of words to explain, but it's very, very simple. Just follow along. And as you're releasing things, um, bodily functions happen. You might yawn, you might sneeze, you might cough, a tear might come if it's a real deep seated thing that you're releasing of. Um, just things like that will happen. I yawn a lot when I'm doing it. So allow that to happen because that is your body releasing things that are no longer serving you <clears throat> or ideas. So just allow that to happen. Don't hold anything back because that's um, not releasing it. So, um, and, and what we're doing is releasing the resistance to the things that the beliefs that we want to have. 
So just follow along. It's simple. Uh, when we're done doing the releasing part of it, we'll do some fill-ups and that's to replace those and, and deep seat those new beliefs in to our energy system, really. So um, let's just take a deep breath first and you'll just feel that stress go away. We'll just calm your mind a bit, allowing the resistance to just, you know, we're releasing, um, calming, taking down our barriers so that we can uh, put these new beliefs that we want to have in. Okay, so breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to it's easy to guide my thoughts. Good. Breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to it's easy to reach for a feeling that feels good. Breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to knowing how I would like to feel. Breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to focusing how I'd like to feel. Breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to when I feel good, I attract even more reasons to feel good. Good. Breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to whatever thoughts I have, my attention to grow. Whatever thoughts I have, have my attention to grow. Sorry, let's do that one again. <laughs> I stumbled on the words. Okay, breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to whatever thoughts I have, my attention to grow. Whatever I thought, wow, I can't read that one for some reason. I might need that one. Breathe in and hold. Whatever, I release any resistance to whatever thoughts I give my attention to grow. Wow, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to guiding my thought to feeling good activates more ways to feel good. So um, I'll talk about that one a sec. Uh, you know, when you are looking for things that feel good, it just creates a momentum for more things to feel good about to come to you. So um, it just creates more of that. You start looking for that. You start making that a priority. Feeling good is a priority. And, you, you know, God, source, Creator wants you to feel good all the time. So why not look for things to feel good about instead of looking for things to feel bad about? Because that creates the bad momentum. So if we're focusing on the good feeling thoughts and the good, the things that make us feel good, you know, a, a really good cup of coffee in the morning, um, uh, talking about good things, talking, daydreaming about things that you want to have happen in your life or that you want to come into your life or um, how you want to feel throughout your day. That is what creates that good feeling momentum. Okay, next, breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to activated thoughts attract more thoughts that are in vibrational harmony with that thought. So um, 
I know you've heard me say about talk about lining up with the frequency before if you've watched my other videos and um, that's what it's talking about you know we want to get in vibrational harmony with those good feelings those higher vibration feelings those things that feel good to us um, you know we don't want to be in those lower vibrations are those things that make us feel heavy make our body feel heavy we want to feel light we want to attract and to do the things that help us our body feel light and happy and joyful right we want to look for that um, effervescent joy in our life <laughs> my theme for the year um, so you know seek those things out Fe seek those things out that feel good to you no matter what's going on around you it's okay to feel good okay breathe in and hold I release any resistance to activating good feeling thoughts, attracts, and, expand, and expands my well-being. So God sees us in total well-being all the time. And um, that's where we're at. That's where we should be. We should always be in that well-being space um, and striving to be there uh, and of course wobbles happen every every day you know little contrasts happen sometimes big huge contrasts happen during your day but you don't have to stay there you don't have to stay in that energy if you're always looking for things that feel better and feel a just a little bit better it gets you to climb out of that heavy feeling that um those heavier vibrations so look for well-being um think about being well and feeling well and doing well and it'll get you there okay breathe in and hold i release any resistance to it's easy to guide my thoughts to where i want to be and what i want to do And that one's um, really fun if you let yourself daydream a little bit. Uh, you know, sitting at a stoplight, standing in line at the store, um, going for a walk and just daydreaming about things that you want to come into your life or things, you know, or just simply feeling good. Uh, appreciating what's around you, appreciating nature. It's so plentiful right now. And and so beautiful and lush. Thinking about um, just feeling good. We had a little rain during the night and everything. It smells so good when you go outside right now and um, flowers are blooming and it, it's just uh, beautiful. So think about those things that make you feel good. And, and for me, that's nature. That is, um, being in my yard, working in my garden, eating the fresh lettuce out of my garden. Um, anything that helps you feel good, do more of that. Okay, breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to I'm feeling and finding myself in vibrational harmony. And vibrational harmony might be a new word for you. It might be a new concept, but it's feeling that joy, that uh, peacefulness within you, um, that inner knowing that wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, you have that inner joy, that inner peace. So, um, oh, <laughs> Tinica, I'm yawning already. Awesome. So good. Um, and, and that's what I do too, is yawn when, I, when I'm doing releasing. So feeling good, lining up with that vibrational harmony, so important in your day, everyday life. Okay, breathe in and hold. 
I release any resistance to flowing through life with grace and ease. And that's what happens when you are in alignment with your being, with your inner being. You're allowing those good feelings to guide you into more. Um, even when you have a little bit of contrast, it doesn't rock your core. It, it, you're, you still have that peaceful, joyful feeling inside. Um, and you know you can... Um, get out of that contrast and and contrast just gives us clarity so it allows you to line up with and have more clarity on what you really do want what's really important in your life so okay breathe in and hold I release any resistance to letting contrast provide clarity for my desires and there it is. And happy, beautiful day, Besnick. Good. Breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to knowing well-being is lined up right in front of me. And so true, you know, God, creator, whatever you call that higher power for yourself is seeing you in well-being. It's, it's right on that next step. It's, it's if you're not feeling it yet, it's right there. We just have to keep moving forward towards it or into it and um, not looking back, always, always moving forward, always looking forward. Okay, breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to well-being flows to me and through me. It's always there running right through us um, and coming towards us. So um, just allow that to happen. Allow yourself to feel good, no matter what's going on around you, no matter what's happening in your life, you can still feel good. Okay, breathe in and hold. I release any resistance to I am always connected to source and all the love that fills this world. Right. That love is a part of us. That love is inside of us and all around us. So when we see the world through the eyes of love, um, life is sweet. <laughs> okay. So that's the releasing part of it. Now let's do the Phillips. And this is done the same way. It's just a different statement. So I will say it and you can follow along and just feel uh, these awesome beliefs that we want to have now, um, that we're lining up with, that we're allowing to become part of us, um, this feeling good. So breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because it's easy to guide my thoughts. Good. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because it's easy to reach for a feeling that feels good. And the more you do it, the easier it gets. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because I know how I would like to feel. That one's so important. You know you don't want to feel heavy. You don't want to feel those yucky emotions, those um, lower energy emotions. You want to feel good. 
uh, that's why we're here is to feel good. <laughs> so uh, just look for little things. We don't have to go from way down here to way up here either. You know, it just look for a little bit better feeling if you're in a dark place that, or, you know, you've had a rough day, you've had a lot of contrast today. Just look for things that feel a little bit better. Appreciate the little things in your life and it helps create a momentum of feeling better. Okay, breathe in and hold. I release, or sorry, I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because I'm focusing on how I'd like to feel. Good. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because when I feel good, I attract even more reasons to feel good. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because whenever, whatever thoughts I give my attention to grow. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because guiding my thought to feeling good activates more ways to feel good. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because activated thoughts attract more thoughts that are in vibrational harmony with that thought. Good. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because activating good feeling thoughts attracts and expands my well-being. Doesn't that feel good to know that your well-being is always expanding and always attracting more? So good. Okay, breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because it's easy to guide my thoughts to where I want to be and what I want to do. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because I'm feeling and finding myself in vibrational harmony. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because I'm flowing through life with grace and ease. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because letting contrast provide clarity, because I'm letting contrast provide clarity for my desires. And really that's all contrast is. It's a chance for you to have more clarity. You know, when you have a little contrast, you know, oh, I don't, that doesn't feel good. I don't want that, but I want to go this way. I want to, I want to go towards what feels better. I want to appreciate this. Uh, I want to appreciate my life where it's at and be eager for more, more good things to come. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because I know well-being is lined up right in front of me. Breathe in and hold. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because I know well-being flows to and through me.
Breathe in and hold. Last one. I'm filled with love, joy, and appreciation because I am always connected to source and all the love that fills this world. Feels good to focus on what feels good, doesn't it? Feels good to focus on love and all the beautiful things around us. So I hope this leaves you feeling better than when you came and um, have an awesome, awesome day. Enjoy everything, appreciate what you have, what's the beauty all around you, appreciate that. And I'm gonna go enjoy my cup of coffee. Thank you for being you and I love you all. Have a great day. Seek effervescent joy. Bye-bye.